Right, golf mates, we're at Holy Hall here at Leeds. We've got this man, Tor Pro, Daniel Gavins, and I thought we're going to do a serious video for once. Yes, serious. What's it like to be a scratch golfer? Daniel, but you are a scratch golfer, you're a pro. What were you when you were an amateur and you Plus turned pro? Three. Plus three. So we're going to do four holes. Daniel is mic'd up. And we're going to show you not a caddy experience because I can't give that knowledge away because otherwise people earn a lot of money. But Dan is going to talk us through everything, play four holes, and hopefully we can learn something. There might be a little tip you give us. Is yeah. that all right, sir? Might be a little tip I can give you. That'd be nice. Thank you anyway. And if you like this video, this kind of content, let us know because we've got Pat doing something similar. So we've got 390 yards, dog leg left. Tell me about this shot, everything. We're looking at it now. What would you do competition mode or a scratch golf mode. mode? Yeah. Something straight that left hand trap. An iron. So the trap's pretty simple, really, isn't it? Well, and then, um, I want some more information just, of you. So the trap's 220, so you would hit an iron because yeah, so of the bounce 180 to 190. You want to hit like a 185, 190 shot, yeah. And if it runs 10, 15 yards, you it's say. still fine, yeah. So straight away, I was thinking, a man of your calibre, why would you not be driver over a tree? Because there's, when it's this firm, it's hard. To, there's nowhere to kind of stop it. It's just gonna, it's just like release down into the trees. So you can cut the corner, you can hit the driver you can over, cut the but corner, then the yeah, fairway will run out because it's narrow. Yeah. Okay. So the amount of room you've got with driver is you've got like a five yard gap to hit it through, which is not, not, not very, the way. Not the way. So what are you thinking here? Uh, so I usually hit. Yeah, I usually hit like six iron, straight at that left trap, and then I have like a nine eight iron in. Okay. So, this Thanks. is what we're going to do. I'm going to ask Dan everything and make sure he tells us. He's, he's not shy, but he's new Can't to it. Can't wait. This, but Let I'm going to get everything begin. out of him. So, if you look now, this is the hole we were talking about. So, here's the tee. I thought he'd hit driver there. But then, obviously, here, driver is just going to bounce, bounce and go here. What do you know? So, he's just going to hit 185 to 195 there. So, in case it runs 10, 15 yards, it won't go in the bunker. The reason I know that is because I'm a top eight caddy on the European tour. Has been. Percentage golf. So you're playing percentage. So the wind's in actually, isn't it? Fair weight, green, move on. Simple. So, wind's right in. What have you got, a five? Six. Six iron. Yeah, okay. The ground is quite firm, so I'm... Right, okay, and it's downhill, so you're going to gain 15. Golf shot, right on the bunker that. Is it the number? Perfect. Happy with that in a comp every day? Yep. It's just no trouble that, is it? Nice, stress free. So it's stress free. Right Dan, come to your ball. We have, perfect position. It's actually a long goal, isn't it? So we've got wind into, you've got 165. Mm -hmm. Club of choice. I've got a time, but it might be a little bit short so then i'm going to place it slightly in my back back of the stance i'm going to feel like i'm covering the ball a bit more going through so right. i'm going to just play that low flighted shot can you just show us because i don't understand that expression the golf course told me once but it went over my head when you, what, what's covering the, the back now when you get to the ball you feel like you're covering it more with your chest instead of like staying more neutral. right so it's like that so way. we should hear a nice fud now when you hit it so a bit lower flight, get a bit more distance. So straight away this ain't a birdie hole, is it? I've only got eight iron, so can be. Right, okay. So that's the difference between a scratch golfer, golf mates. It can be, because it's only eight iron. Back in the sense of it. Turning, is it coming Lord? definitely got there, it might be a bit big. I think it's a bit big? It's on the green, but I thought the wind would take it a bit left. But it's just stays dead straight. It's on the green though, isn't it? Yeah. So it's stress free. I mean, I'll be straight. 165 First into wind, be I'll be hitting a five iron, I think. Though. Not bad, not bad. Par and walk away, isn't it? Yep. Right, so what are you seeing, pal? I want everything. We've got 40, 50 feet. Yes. Uphill. Yes. Uh, the first part of the putt's going 
It's a bit right to left. Okay. Walk up a bit further. Like, see now it's like straightening up. This is pretty straight right, right now. Then at the hole, might even be a bit left to right the hole. Are you expecting to make this? Because this is a long putt. No, you just want a nice pace. Get it inside three feet and move on. Yeah, because there's no way you can expect to make this. So this is where, would you say an amateur's here just now? Just take the three putt off the car. That's, that's the best you can do here. Would you say what about amateurs, Cat 1 golfers, would they be trying to chip this or everyone putting it? No, everyone should be putting this, I think. Right, okay. So I'm gonna, it's a bit of a double breaker, so I'm going to maybe aim... I think I'll move a bit left to start and then straighten up. I'm going to aim like a cup outside right. Okay. Okay. So it's all about pace. It's all about pace, yeah. What's it got there? It's a good pace. Take Three that feet. If I were your caddy, I'd take that. Right, Daniel Sub. Yes. Bunker shots. We're, this is where we've had a few comments because I put some out on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. What, your perfect bunker shot? No, just how do you play them or any tips? A good tip for when you're practicing is if you draw a line. Yeah. Left heel on line. So your left heel on the line. Okay, and all you want to do is practice hitting that line. Just go up and down the line. Just trying to hit that line. Yeah. Thumbs up if that's the best bunker tip I've ever seen. That is class. Right, so when you get into the ball, you want to, to start with, you can visualise or you can draw the line. Draw the line if you're practising. Right, so you can put it an inch behind the ball. Yep. Left heel on line. Okay, and you just want to take that line again. I'm loving this, Daniel, son. I'm loving it. Yeah? I mean... I've hit slightly behind the line there, but it's... So I'm good. just, honestly, that is gold. That is gold right there. You so like simple. That? Yeah, simple, I do. Yeah. And it's nothing about, you, do you need to learn about technique if you're coming in you can learn, shallow yeah, or Yeah, a little steep? bit. So if, just, I'm just trying just for other people. So you want kind of a nice solid base. Yeah. Yep. And then Can the you draw that line here so we can see to the camera as well? See from that side. What do you mean? So we're looking at the camera so they can see it. What that? That's it, my friend. So you've got a nice solid base, slightly on your left side. You want your shaft, probably neutral. Right. I like my face slightly open. And then from there, you just have to enter that line. I mean, you're covering me with sand, but I think because it's just a gold ah. tip, I think that's brilliant. Daniel, easy par. Yes. So, we explained that all great with the dog leg. This. Mm -hmm. For me, no, I'm thinking this is, I can't get here in two. It's 440 yard into yep. the wind. It's a long hole. So what, as a scratch golfer, what are you thinking? So if you've got the distance, you can get over the traps with the driver. Right, so Maybe okay. like 280 to carry over oh. them both. Wow, okay, that's a different If you can't, then it's a 4-2 iron and then obviously 6-7 iron in. Right, okay. So come on, um, talk us through what you're thinking. So I'm gonna have a practice swing and then obviously see the line, I'm gonna see a medium flight red tracer line going straight at that pylon. Maybe a slight draw. So when you say a red tracer line, you're visualising I'm a I'm seeing the red tracer line, yeah. Get you, I like that. Do you think amateurs should do that? Or yeah, try? I can't, I can't see why not, yeah. Yeah, because it's nothing about skill like visualising a shot. It can only it? help, it'll take the um, negative kind of hazard out of the uh, Love it, I get the you. Equation. Yeah, right, straight away, that is worth a like. Straight away, what he's just said there is proper information, which I'm going to try and use when we have a match after we finish this video. What a golf shot. Just right straight to the, the pile on there. Slight draw. Beautiful golf shot. Massive bounce. Yeah. What a golf shot that is. Yeah, it helps visualise. I like what you've said though about visualising. Even any. Yes, yeah, so if you take that tracer line, you're just thinking about that tracer line. Yeah, you're, you're not thinking, not thinking about the trees right or, or the bunkers. No, I love or it. I love it. I actually think now, 
that is worth the video already. That could say that you know what that could lose handicapped golfers shots without yeah, anything. Yeah. You could just lose one or two shots if you have to get rid of a bad hole. That's good stuff that. So if you've got a hole where there's like a hazard and you're just thinking about the tracer line or something instead of the hazard, you're not gonna yeah, hit absolutely. It in the hazard. Yeah. Right. I think that was a beaut of a golf shot. That was a beautiful shot. Now, straight away, I'm just thinking, no matter what handicap you are, over the ball, visualise, like a shot tracer, like we've done with Joe does for the Hidden Gems. Mm -hmm. And like Dan was saying, it takes out out of bounds right, watery. You only think about the good things and that could help your loads. I mean, you've only got a flick here, but straight away. So, Joe's going to change position. This green is like that, isn't it? But because you've got winding, you've probably got more chance, haven't you, holding? Yeah, from this kind of lie on the fairway, it's not going to release much, especially into the wind, so you can probably play it straight at it, really. Right, so pins are bang on 100, mm -hmm. into the wind. Yep, it's playing probably 110. One to, to, I mean, I don't know if I'd be tempted. It's a runner here, or one, I don't know. I'm trying what I would do different here, probably a pitching wedge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I see it more as a full sand wedge and just stop it on the flag yeah i think that's probably the best so yeah my my school of thought it'll be here keeping it on the green mm -hmm. you're not thinking that are you no right okay not from the fairway okay so you're going you're attacking yeah right all right plus if it goes past the flag you've got a nice uphill put right so like yeah if it's all positive positive isn't it mm -hmm. so basically it's just a full sandwich really nothing nothing else to it Gonna spin left. Perfect, pin eye, isn't it? Happy yeah, it's stopped quick. Yeah, Maybe a bit right, but yeah, it's okay. It's, the distance is there though, isn't it? Distance is perfect. So you've got yeah. a birdie put, hard hole into the wind. Hard hole into the wind, just ticked off. So I'll be happy with that, but I, like I said, your school of thought were different to mine. I'll be thinking, right, am I gonna hold this ball all downhill? Mm -hmm. You never even thought about that, did you? No, because if you hit it full, you're just putting that right amount of spin on to just stop it where it is anyway. I'm looking at it now, you're right, you pin eye anyway there, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Right, Daniel son, distance, you were saying a bit right, but... 15 feet? I just thought that was a great golf shot. Talk to me. Should be a bit closer, but it's okay. So, I, as a seven handicapper, I'll be happy with that. Now, this is a fast green, so you just... There's a lot of left to right break in this putt. See, you know, as me, you know, what I do different, this is what I'm trying to get the video, Mm -hmm. There's no way I'd have a go at this. No. Because it just, you could leave yourself Definitely a five footer, couldn't to, you? Definitely uh, not a putt to, it's not a putt to attack. So what, this is me, how I'll visualise, it's a birdie putt, but really it's not, because you could, if you miss it. Yeah. So I would go higher, mm -hmm. and when it loses pace, it goes closer to the hole, mm -hmm. so the tapping par is closer. And obviously so, from this length, you want to try and hold it. Yeah, even I was thinking that. But of, on a pace that it's not going to go too far past. Yeah. So you want to drop it in. Okay. So I'm seeing this centering the hole probably at nine o'clock. So you say nine o'clock, oh, like on a clock. So you're thinking just nine o'clock. bottom quarter. I'll put a little line there where you want it. So I'm seeing if I walk up here, with the amount of break, it's going to enter the hole about there. Okay. Right. Get you. I get you. So that, yeah. So it's not going to go miles past if you don't get it. No. But obviously you're visualising you are. Mm -hmm. See, that's where I would have been chicking, you see. I would have been happy with a par and walked away. I would have been thinking about, no, don't leave still, yourself. Par's still great on this hole. Yeah, no, but I would have, the difference with me, I would have been thinking, don't leave it too far for your par pot. Fair enough. Just like that, Tommy Cooper. Straight in at nine o'clock as well, eh? Yeah. I mean, I'm not being funny. The difference, sir, between us and that I think we can hit a wedge like that all day long. There's no way we can hit a drive like that. It's impossible. Good drive. Right, Daniel, son, people are asking, how do a scratch golfer or tour pro, whatever you want to be, hit this kind of shot? Yes, a flop shot. Do you call it a flop shot? I use a flop shot, yeah. There is a, there is a good way of playing a flop shot, but it's quite a dangerous, low percentage kind of shot. Can you show us both? You've got two balls. 
So Are you going to show us a high, high tariff one now? I'll show you the high one if you want. Yep, go on. So this one, you want your little finger over the top of the grip like that. Are you serious? Just show that to the camera, slow. Yep. Why is that? So it just gets the shaft working faster. So then you grip it normally. Would you do this in a competition? Only if I really had to get high. Right. Okay. And then from there, you're just letting the... It's almost like your arms have gone floppy. So your face is wide open. And you're literally just swinging like that. And it just goes underneath the ball and, and pops just... up. I mean, that's just looking like a massive release and... That's what it is. Right. So let's try and get one right. I mean, I've never seen nothing like that. That's a joke. I mean, <laughs> I mean, is that come out better than you fall? Because you just had that laugh. Uh, Something I, to practice, but I wouldn't really recommend that. Right then. How would you do it? I mean. So here, you're looking at maybe. What does that, I want to go back at that finger then. What does that do? Just help it all release? Be unstable so it's floppy or? Just gets I'm it, watching here it, gets now, it more just, that way through the ball. Right, okay. So competition mode now. Yep. I'm looking maybe just left of the hole. Yep. Uh, club head's going to be wide open still, but if it's six feet past the hole, it's a great shot. From here, yeah, yeah I'd say so. Uh, I'm probably not going to swing it full, so I don't really need to. I can open my, f my face and come slightly across it to get the height. This is probably why I play these well. Um, but rehearsal-wise, it's just... Getting that perfect practice swing again. So what you're looking for, a noise of brushing the grass? Yeah. Some, some, something like that. That's beautiful. I mean, you said six foot, but... Two foot's all right, isn't it? So the, the, the high risk one, what goes higher, yep. has gone further. That's for like an impossible scenario where it's like you're really short on green to work with yeah because that did go high but you've not much control but you know it's going mm. high yeah. right golf mates there you go flop shots and bunker shots right we've come to another par four daniel mm -hmm. i'm going to try and be different what i would do here okay i would not lie i'd look and think it's wide open and i'd probably try and hit this as far as i can mm -hmm. it's 413 yards the wind in us now, is it just is it a left wind or right? straight off the right. Straight off the right. So, go through it, tell me. I'll say probably something similar. You do? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try and hit this a bit harder than usual. Is that just for get it as close as the green as possible? Try and get it as close up there as you can, yeah. Because it is wide up there. Yeah, if you... If, um, even you get, if you you're getting past that bunker, you're getting past that tree on the right. Something on a line with the tall poplar tree is perfect. Right, okay. And if you don't hit that line, it doesn't matter. Is that your visualisation mm -hmm. then? Yeah, the poplar tree, yeah. Right, so the difference between a, a scratch golfer and a normal golfer on this hole is absolutely nothing. Give it a whack because it's wide open, there's not much danger. Well, at least we think the line, but obviously the visualisation. Golf shot, right hand side at fairway. It's just coming now with wind, on it? Great bounce, that's big, that. Now, is that Mr. Fairway, Daniel, son? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, it's past that tree, though. It's, yeah, it's like you said. Did you give that the beans? I'll give it a little bit more, yeah. Yeah. Just to get past that tree. And you are, so would you be happy? Yeah. I know mean, you can't, but again, but would you be happy? Yeah, I'm happy with that. There's nothing wrong with it, really. It's so not the fairway, but it's... It's in play. Right, Mr. Mr. Pro. We're in the rough. We're in the rough. Now, this is a good one because it didn't go as expected. It went far enough because you've only got 100 yards. So it's this gone. is the tree that I tried to get past. And we've got past it enough to get onto the green and be close to the birdie, I guess. I would imagine, though, where that bunker is in the flag, it's a midges downhill. Is this out of the rough like this, something you would attack? Or? I would I would go straight the flag here. You but would? The, the only thing on this green is it slopes very severe down to the right that's anything anything past the flag on the right it's okay. kind of going down off the green right 
I think so, me and myself, I, I, if I'm playing this, I'll be looking middle at green, back, thinking right again. Mm -hmm. But obviously you're thinking different. 100 yards, I'm going to aim this probably just left of the bunker short of the flag. Just right. left of it. What I would say, the good thing what I've seen about Daniel here is quite a wide fairway, he's missed it, not bothered. Not bothered, you know. I think I won't be bothered if I've missed a fairway. Some amateurs might be like, oh my God, I've missed a fairway, it's massive, but there I you've mean, got the a tip, line. The tip for this shot is height. Get, it as, high, it. get it as high as you can, yeah. So, so you're not going to get any spin from the rough. So what have you got? So I've got 60. I don't think I can hit a 60 hundred yards. Well, I know I can't. So if you hit like a 56 or a 52, you want to try and get as much height as you can to get it down Yeah, soft. it's more like 52, yeah. Okay. Um, if I hit this high, it should stop pretty quick. It's line of light as well. Is that going to go? Yeah. I mean, has it gone in? <sighs> that came out really dead, but I got away with it. Right, brilliant, brilliant. What do you mean, dead? So it was sitting quite nicely, so I thought it might come out quite fast. Okay. But it's come out really slow. Why Obviously, did it come out slow then? Do you mean it's hit higher on the face? No, I it's don't know. Just, it, you can't really explain it. It's, if you get a flyer, you get a flyer. If you don't, you don't. So you were expecting the midges of a flyer? I was expecting it to come out a little bit faster than that, yeah. But the result's great, isn't it? It's you know I mean? just kind of left of the bunker. So obviously aiming left of the bunker, it's taken out that, that bunker out of play. Right, okay. But if, I'd, if I'd have foot. gone straight at the flag, I'd have probably pitched it in the bunker. Yeah, okay. But you knew that anyway. Ah, mm -hmm. I love it, I love it. Now let's see if you can get your birdie put. Yep. You are on the green. a little bit of luck there, but it's, we'll take it. So it's so like you said, it's bounced there then? Yeah, so it's pitched about there. And just kicked on. If I'd have got a bit more out the rough, I'd have probably pitched about here. But I'd spin. But I'd, it'd have stopped a bit quicker, yeah. Right, let's finish it off. So you've had a, a midge is a good fault. I know you've not, because it just come out dead, hasn't it? I suppose well, I said you're... I was aiming left of the bunker, so I, I did exactly what I wanted. Right, yeah, I was going to say fortune, but you've not had any, have you, then? You've done what you wanted. It's a bit lucky, but... This is moving quite a lot to the left. Now, is this one of these where you'd be firm with, or drop it into the hole? You can be pretty firm with this one. Um... Suppose for us amateurs, uh, that's where it's, uh, it's all about confidence. I think I... C I'd probably sit the firmer, firmer, the this firmer one. you go, the less break that you have to allow for. Okay, so what you see, how much break? What you tell us what you're playing. So I'm going to play this just outside the right edge. Pretty firm. Pretty firm. Okay. Would you go softer or? No, I, don't, I think I'd want a firm put for a birdie put. Another one, another one. Right, this is a good one now because we've got a right tricky hole coming up. It's not a long hole, but it's like one of them short par fours what are really tricky. Right, Mr. Professional, two under, three holes. Yes. Come on, 375 yards. Mm -hmm. I've played this, yep. we're looking at it now, and I, I'll be 5-4 iron rescue there, me, all day long. Yeah, so there's two ways you can play it. You can lay up to about there. And have like a nine nine in. When you say nine in, I'd rather you say how far. One sixteen. Um, yeah, I'd say one sixteen. Okay. That'd be um, like a really cautious kind of play. Right. Probably for depends what handicap you are, but like if for us, I think the right play is to get it as high as possible because it there's trees there on the right. But they're miles away, aren't they? But they, it's a bit deceiving on the picture, but it, it does open up a lot here. So, so you actually got... just smashing driver without so being gonna, horrible? I'm just going to smash driver here. Yeah. And you don't mind if it's left or right because you're that far Obviously up. the only way, the only place not to go is left. Because then you'll be blocked out. But if you're anywhere down here, you've got a nice just little pitch yeah, to the flag. Yeah, into the flag, yeah. All right, okay, I like it. I would never, ever have thinking that. I've played this. I mean, let's say I'm five, six under. Yeah, I like this. Go on, talk to me. I'd probably hit iron. You would? But if I was level one over, 
It'll be driver all day. Right, okay. So what are you visualising here now? The wind's, wind? the wind's hard off the left, so I'm going to kind of set it off high and at the, um, just left of these trees really, let it just fade around them. Just let the wind do everything? Yeah. Okay. If it fades too much, it's still okay. Like you said, so when we get round there, we'll see for ourselves. But I would never see this player. This is what the difference between us and a scratch golfer. So you've done everything you wanted, have you? Mm-hmm. Should be just right at the green, that. Honestly. So, I, so I'm looking and thinking, wow, but is that just bang on? I'd say if you come back to the drawing. I like this how you know. You know your course, don't you? It's going to be around about there. So you've got little trees to go over? No, I don't think that's, that pitch is a bit deceiving, but I think it'll be just a nice little pitch onto the green. Right, okay. Is it near the green? Yeah. Jesus. Can you wear us? Right, golf mates, uh, I would never, ever, ever, ever have that. So the, the white blocks were midges forward, so I'm going to give it 350. There's no way you can hit the ball 350. You're up near the green. Is it shorter yardage because you've cut the corner? Slightly. Slightly. I mean, a bit, no, it's where bit the camera is now, that is exactly where the ball is. I would never... But if you car if you carve it right, there's so much room here. Yeah, so if you and just these have a look, high enough to you pan round, Joe. So what Dan was saying, if you're extra extra right, it's still only a flick on, but that's unreal. That is unreal. Right, Daniel Sum. Yep. Here we go. Got your putter in hand. Talk to me what you see in it. In fact, let me tell you what okay. I would see here. Go for it. I'd me like my gap wedge so it's like a 50 52 bouncing it in that shadow i'd think that's all so I'd if say. i hit if i hit 52 in there i think it just released too far you think? too fast yeah okay so the greens are firm it's a bit down in the wind as well so what would you do so i'd use a 60 put right. a bit more height into it okay pitch it maybe a third of the way there so that's what's that just in front i'd of say the... probably right in the middle of the shadow right okay so really, so we, we did the same thing, but you would use a 60 and I wouldn't. Yep. All right. Maybe I'm pitching it further than you would, but it's going to stop a bit quicker. Okay. So are you visualising anything here on a chip? Um, feeling a lot of it in the practice swing. Right. So this is a feel. Feel. Okay. So this is more feel based for me, yeah. And the shadow's gone now, so that's just fantastic. So hopefully you can visualise it as well. Yep. So it's maybe like two metres onto the green. Right, I'll put a little caption up where you want it. Oh, it's bright lovely then, isn't it? I mean, that's pitched a bit like a metre too short. So well, it's well that's checked up great. I mean, it's I come just think... a metre short of the flag, which is, if I'd have played it prop like right, it'd have been perffect. So you're not happy with that? I mean, I think that's a class shot. I'm not overly happy with that now. Right. Got about eight feet. Okay. Um, I see, when I'm here now, I see what you mean. I mean, I'd be happy with that chip, but I can see why you're not. Yeah, you want it inside. Especially driving near the hole, isn't it? Because you want your birdie. Want it inside four wall. feet, really, yeah. But this puts maybe a little bit right to left. Um, it's pretty flat. It can be quite aggressive. Okay. So you're not seeing anything here? No, I just see it going in about 5pm. Right, again, we know where that is. Is this for three in a row? Uh, yeah. Not bad, eh? It's not bad. Ooh! And it moved too far left. Right then. Oh well. Right golf mate, so there we go, we've showed you how a scratch golfer gets around the course, bunker shots, chip shots and everything. Thank you very much to Daniel. Comment below, have you learned anything off that or was it not your cup of tea? For me, 
there's some that bunker just the bunker and visualizing is worth it for me comment below thank you danielson see you tomorrow